this has hit me, and it hit me hard. Remember a movie called White Heat with one of our greatest actors, Jimmy James Cagney. White Heat, about a gangster with a mother complex. Remember Carnal Knowledge. I want to talk today, remember also the Mona Lisa smile and the symbolism. I want to talk today very seriously about the mother issues and why women have this kind of power over us. Now remember, I am an amateur philosopher not a medical man. I have no credibility for what I'm saying. It's just an opinion. I can be 100% wrong. Doesn't matter to me because I'm going to say what I have to say anyway, regardless of all of that. Your stranger's never afraid to kick Pandora's box open. Your stranger's never afraid to speak his truth. Remember, our mothers nurtured us. We look to our mothers for nurturing, for safety, for protection, for whatever concept of greed love. His Majesty, the baby, the child, can beg, borrow, and steal. I never forgot, and it's captured in the Mona Lisa, the smile of me mama, when me mama looked down at me and held me as a little boy. I, it was so pure and wonderful, and I'm arguing we're trying to recapture that. We're trying to recapture that pure, caring, I believe that is more primordial than love, agape, whatever you want, that pure caring, that pure concern. If we didn't get it from our biological mother, we sought it out from surrogates. If we couldn't get surrogates in the flesh, we made them up. Movies. where it's acted out perfectly, and we took from that. Sponge, you grabbed all the fantasies, all the relief you could. You magnetized it to yourself. You ingrained it. You became your own mother fantasy to yourself. And you're looking for that nurturing, that support, that comfort. Those behaviors. A look, a smile, and for a little while, she loves me once again it's Paris Paris in the springtime and the month is May are you warm are you Mona Lisa or just cold and lonely lovely work of art songs, lyrics written 
by some of our great lyricists, your stranger, enjoy singing their lyrics. Bringing back the American songbook, capture in poetry, in music, the sentiments I'm talking about here. One strong, one guiding light to teach me wrong from right. I found it in my mama's eyes. Those fairy tales that she told, the street paved with gold, I found it in my mama's eyes, just like a wandering sparrow. I was a sad, I was a lonely soul. I walk the straight and narrow for me to reach my goal. God's gift and from above that pure unselfish love I found it there in my mama's eyes lyricists really capture it Laura is the face in the misty light footsteps that you hear down the hall. That smile that floats on a summer night that you can never quite recall. And you see Laura on the train that is passing through those eyes, how familiar they seem. She gave your very first kiss to you. That was Laura, that was Laura, that was Laura. But she's only a dream. Johnny Mercer. The great lyricist got it right. The beautiful Laura. I've always been, your strangers always been haunted by the Laura smile. He's always sought out the Laura smile, that magical, reassuring, nurturing smile. Another form of it, the healing hug, the healing hug. We paid in the old days for a couple of minutes of a good healing hug from any woman who would hug us. 
Now I'm telling it like it is. In the old days, you went to the honeymoon lanes, the Tango Palace, and you paid for an opportunity to talk to a woman or to dance. That's all. You paid at the mud rustling women for a handshake. It was a dollar a handshake. They had that mud wrestling when the AIDS uh, terror came on the scene. And the women we see, instantly there is a symbolic hope. Now I'm talking underneath the charade the pretenses that we put up to be the machismo and cover this tender underbelly. I've seen tough guys who came up to me and stuck their chest out to me and tried to talk into me and tried to flinch and intimidate me. And I've seen these Low lives, these assholes, broken, shattered, broken, out of the desperation, yes, I said it, the desperation for the nurturing, for the acceptance, for the confirmation of a woman. I'm talking about that smile. I'm talking about that healing hug. Yes, it's true. These tough guys, the machismo, they become like little baby. In their needs and their desperations to be nurtured. And your stranger puts the challenge out right now to anyone who wants to refute what I'm saying. I'm talking on a biological level. I'm talking on a level more primordial than on what we see on the surface. And I'm talking on a level that is probably more powerful than the pure mundo freudo raw carnal sex drive. But paradoxically, it's predicated on that primal sexual energy. This is the paradox. So your stranger is not solving any problems. Your stranger is leaving the riddle. Let the poets solve it. Let the lyricists attempt it. When they do, they're really foolish. They're only, we can only touch it on the surface. We can only explore it. That's why, now you understand why your stranger loves Cole Porter lyric. The paradox here, Porter was a homosexual. But yet he wrote these songs, all these great Cole Porter songs your stranger sings. They were all written by Cole Porter for a man. Do you understand that? Do you understand the paradox here? The Girl I Love, for example. Porter really intended it, The Man I Love. It goes like this. Someday she'll come along, that girl I love, and in her smile there's gonna be a song that girl I love when she comes my way I'll do my best to make her stay she'll smile on me I'll understand then in a little while, she'll t-
take my hand Though it seems absurd I know we both won't speak a word Now maybe I will meet her Sunday Maybe Monday Maybe not but still I'm sure I'll meet her one day, maybe Wednesday will be my good news day. We're gonna build a little home, it's just meant for two. From which your stranger will not roam. Who would, would you? And so all else above, I'm waiting for the girl I love. Cole Porter! No, I should say, wait a minute, I got that wrong. The Gershwins. The Gershwins. Your stranger made a mistake. The Gershwins wrote that. Ira Gershwin. But Porter wrote some sensational songs having to do with the tensions of exactly what your stranger's talking about, which provokes jealousies, which provokes possessiveness almost to a homicidal point, Depend, depending on the individual involved and the psychology, the psychodynamics. Cole Porter. It was just one of those things just one of those fabulous flings one of those bells now and then rings I tell you that it was one of those things. It was just one of those nights. Just one of those fabulous flights. It was a trip to the moon on gossamer wings. Man, it was one of those things. If we'd thought of it about the end of it, when we started painting the town, we'd have been aware our love affair. It was too hot not to cool down. Well, now, goodbye, dear amen. Here is hope. 
I'll see you again. It was great fun. It was just one of those things. And the great Antonio Carlos Jobim captured the sentiment. Tall and tan, young and lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking, and when she passes me, I smile, but she doesn't see. She sways so smooth, she walks so gently, that when she passes, each one she passes goes ooh, ooh. But I love her so madly. Each moment she walks by me, I look, she doesn't see, she doesn't see, she doesn't see. Chance with her.